Oh, I smell some prawns. Are you peeling prawns? Peeling prawns. Oh, you better be saving the legs. Yeah, so you um just rip the head of shell bit off. Then you tuck underneath the back of the legs. Underneath that bit. You pull that off. That's the best part. <laughs> and I put them aside. So I got those there and prawns. I think you just rip the rest of the head off. Everyone knows how to peel a prawn, but um, everyone does it slightly different. Yeah. But when you get these, and then you like fry it with like a bit of garlic butter, salt and pepper um, on the on the grill of the barbie, like on the flat plan, and just put some pressure on it and squash it out, and then just flip it. And um, until it's crunchy and it's like a prawn cracker. It is so yummy. We first heard of this when we went to the Japanese teppanyaki uh, in Melbourne CBD. Yeah. And it was so good that we, we just continued on with it. Yeah. We just ripped those off. Yeah. Put those aside. Put them in the fridge, do them later. We're doing them now. Oh, yes. I'll, um, I'll finish peeling what we want now. And um, we'll throw them on the barbie. I'll show you how, how we do it. And show you how they turn out because they are uh, they're pretty good and give them a go and then comment or let us know if they turned out good for you and you liked them or not yeah so or if you've seen it done before yep so um, even different seasonings if you've had it with different seasonings or sauces or something like that yeah hit us up cool all right let's um finish peeling these and we'll put them on the barbecue I thought we were having prawns. What'd you do to it? I diced them. Why? Well, I thought, well, we'll do a garlic and creamy, peppery. No, it's chili. a Kramer special, isn't it? Kramer special. Yeah. <laughs> garlic, cream, chili flakes, and then I'll toss all that up together. So it's like a creamy marinade sort of thing. Wait to cool down. And then I was thinking of putting it on a sandwich with a bit of mayonnaise. Oh, so like a, was that a prawn roll? Prawn roll? <laughs> I don't know. Just winging it. We'll see how we go. Awesome. So I just, I don't know, just dice these up like this, and um, right, I'll show you what I do here. So I just got some um, onion, uh, garlic and onion oil. Yeah, we're going to throw a bit, bit of that. Come around here. We'll show you what I do here. So throw a bit of that on there. Get get the plate hot. And then, I'm just going to put these on. So you've got to flatten them. It takes a while to do them more. But... Because we've got three and eight. But, make it go with the gun. Throw them all on. <laughs> And you just go flatten them because they um, lay flat and then they go crispy. You gotta do both sides, it doesn't matter which side you do first, as long as you keep flipping them. And a hot barbie is really good, and this friggin' barbie's hot. I'm burning this out, but that off. <laughs> and the oil sort of, um, what do you call it? I wouldn't say deep fries that, but it makes it super crispy. There you go, that's how you want it. Just like that. That's worked out really good. So, keep them all together. Keep flattening them out. Add a smidge more to it. Salt. A little bit of pepper and um, just keep flipping them until they go crispy. Where are going to be Barbie, anyways? How good is this, eh? Little workstation, got all my bits and pieces that I need. Do the flipping, hook it on the side, keep cooking. I know a few of you have said, hey, that Barbie's way too high. Well, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't, depends on the site you're at. 
So, yeah, if we're on an angle. Yeah, but the workstation here is perfect size, and I reckon this is good. Like, still reach it and close it down. Works good for me anyway. All right, let's keep cooking that, and I'll show you how we, we turn out in a minute. Is it ready yet? I'm starving. Wow. <laughs> I've just added a bit of um, garlic to it, those little garlic chops. I just use the, um, I cheated, just use these. Like garlic. Granules. Yeah, you tip a bit of that on there. I just flipped them, and um, I reckon they're getting really close. You don't um, normally do it with garlic, it's usually just salt. Yeah, and, and <coughs> butter. So. Yeah. But I thought that a little bit of garlic. It's, these things don't give it a massive flavour, but just that little bit. Always experimenting. Because hey, it might be a winner. So that's done. Um, that's real hot. So that's going to be, actually turn that way down now. We'll turn this other one on. All right, that's on. So, cream. Oh, here we go. Throw some cream in there. Doesn't take long to get on. Okay. Cut of butter. This is the um, garlic butter. Garlic butter. He's just ready now. Well, it's a warm day. It's thirty something degrees at Tweed. Yeah. Bang. Garlic. Throw that in the fridge. How good is having an outdoor kitchen? Use the canopy in them. That's the extra kitchen. So, it'll be nice and forks in there if I need something extra. I don't have to go inside after misses, even though I do. Knock on the door. So. <laughs> do you have any cream? Need the cream. Need some tongs. <laughs> so, I need fly. Alright. Alright. Jeez. Go on the fridge for a second. I can find room. Holy dooly, I found room. Well, we usually use this as a drinks fridge, as you can see. Coconut, Zach wants the coconut. But I want chili flakes. Where'd you pick the chili flakes? Next to you. Perfect. And then. Chili flakes. This one's a brand new one. <coughs> That much. I don't know how much that is, but. But it's that much. <laughs> it's better to put a little in and not be enough, then put more in, then put too much in because you can't take it out. Good call, eh? Alright, so wait till that gets thick because the corn's already cooked, so you don't want to heat the corns up. I just want to coat this. test. Oh, nailed it. Oh yeah, just enough spice. So that's actually really good. Now then, in it goes. Give that a So that sauce is really reduced down, so it's like, oh, that's a perfect amount. Turn that off. Cooks quick on this barbie, this is a really good barbie. Everything cooks really quick. So. Pile that like that, let it steam out for a second. I'll lean through here. Grab one of these paper towels because I don't think I want chili on the actual prawns. I don't mind it, but everyone else might not. Oh, they're getting crunchy. Yeah, and that's what you want. You want it crunchy, but not dry, crunchy. You want a bit of moisture still left in it. Yeah, but it's still enough to cook because there is a bit of um, there's a bit of meat 
in there, so you still want to cook that a little bit. Yeah, that part, oh, yeah. But you can, um, like the legs break apart. It's like crackle. Mm. Oh, they're really good. So if you ever get around where we are and you notice that, you know, you'd like to try some prawn crackers or something like that, yeah. Bring over some prawns and we'll cook them up for you and see what you reckon. <laughs> yeah, they are really good. You can probably do a little bit longer, but they're super tasty. I mean, they've got to be tasting like, you know, those prawn crackers you get from the Chinese restaurant. Like, It's like the original prawn cracker. They're, they're crunchy. They taste actually like a prawn cracker. So, yeah. And also like prawn uh, pork crackle, but with prawn. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a seafood crackle. <laughs> a seafood crackle. Mm. All right. I'm keep stirring these. Turn the heat off this, so this is just residual heat. It's doing what it does best. And. What I'll do is we'll go inside, we'll butter up a roll, and um, we'll get back to you. Up, ah, busted! What? You'd better not be eating them without me. I've got to try one. Oh, at least there's a few left. No. So that's how they're going to look. They're sort of like flat. Um, put it on the ground. Not ground, ground. They're flat. They're um, they're crispy. Like you can hear it like fall apart. It's so still got moisture in it. Mm. Like, you know when they're ready? Because like these are sharp. The prawn, the prawn legs, <clears throat> excuse me, the prawn legs, when they're, when you're peeling them, they're like sharp and they're pointy. Like, I mean, if you tried eating just one of those, it'll probably either be Stuck really up. chewy or poke you in the face or, or these, like, they fall apart. Mm. Oh, so good. So good. Um, There's not going to be any left. Well, lucky it's just you and me. Mm. Thank God the boys don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> Here's me, um, here's what I was thinking. With your prawns. You can even have it just in that without the roll. That'd be nice. Mm. Mm. That, and then a bit of mayo. Oh, yeah. I reckon that's pretty good. Mm. So, fold that up. I'd even put more prawn in that. <laughs> oh, I probably would. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Just a little bit of chili. You can taste the garlic. Almost tastes a little bit like a lobster roll, but they're prawns. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That. And a bit of this. Mm. Woohoo! Right. I'm getting another beer. I'm gonna hoe into these. I reckon I'm gonna go back a couple more rolls. And that's it, we're done. We've been swimming. We've been What are we doing? We've been kayaking in the river. Damn mm -hmm. thing they got there. Been swimming, doing bombs and horses, and um, I'll cut in on that now. And, and went on uh, the water slides too. Oh, water slides! Yep. Bit of bead roll. What we've done today. All right, uh, cool. Thanks for like watching. To like what we're throwing up, <laughs> hit that like button. <laughs> <laughs> if you like seeing what you're seeing, we'll keep throwing stuff up. If you don't want to see this, change the channel. <laughs> change the channel. <laughs>
Let us know. <laughs> Let us know what you guys want to watch. Yeah. Not what I'm we just think randomly you. throwing up <laughs> because I like cooking and this is the stuff I like. So if you want to see more, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Alright.